It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. Coming up in today's news brief, we have the latest details on why Gumbo Pot will be closing its doors. Hey, it's Marcus James and you're streaming the Vicksburg Daily News Brief. Vicksburg Mayor George Flags Jr. is expected to recommend to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen to change the pay rate of entry-level officers from $14.75 per hour to now $16.12 per hour. Now, apart from the increased pay rates for entry-level officers, Flags also mentioned that he will recommend 5% raises across the board for anyone who is under the civil service banner, including firemen. All other city employees who are not civil service will be under the category of a 3% raise. And a heroic act leaves a Vicksburg man alive after his home was filled with smoke Wednesday morning. Michael Whitley responded to the call and saw smoke coming from the home. Two men were reportedly on the porch flagging down emergency response upon arrival. Here's what he had to say. My only choice at that point was to try to kick the door and, and get inside because I had been told uh, this man was trapped inside. Uh, I kicked the door and broke it enough right up under the, the door handle uh, to make my way in, uh, just barely squeezing through. Realized there was a refrigerator behind the door, uh, so it made it harder for other officers and I to get in. Uh, kind of moved that out of the way and let them in, and, and with the help of the fire chief, we were able to get the man out of the bed and out of the house. In an online post, Gumbo Pot owner Perry Boyd said Gumbo Pot on Hall's Ferry behind Walgreens will be closed for today and tomorrow to test for COVID and have employees get vaccinated. Now he wants his customers to know that he is sorry for the inconvenience. They're having everyone to be tested and vaccinated for the safety of their employees and customers. Normal hours are expected to resume on Friday. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Have a drink with some friends. Get in on the action. We, we have fun friends. Thanks so much for staying with us. Here's a quick look at what's going on in the sports world with Vicksburg Daily News sports reporter Keith Phillips. The Lady Flash's softball team had a tough loss last night as they fell 6-4 against Adams County Christian School. Pitcher Kylie Cooper threw 13 strikeouts in the game, and they will play again this Thursday. Warren Central High School freshman football team had their season opener last night as they won 21-0 against Northwest Rankin. The Vikings was led by quarterback DeCorey Knight Jr., and they're off to a good head start. Vicksburg Junior High School football team had their season opener as well as they defeated Byram 36-6. The blowout victory comes shortly after Mikey Johnson throws a 50-yard touchdown to Jordan Clay. They'll be back in action next week against Pearl. And it's still been a little hot here in the River City. Here's the latest update on what to expect with weather in our area. Alex Long has the latest. Alex? Hey, Marcus. Well, the heat advisory stays in effect for tomorrow with the high near 95, and we will see a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms that continues into Friday with the high near 94. On Saturday, we have a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms with the high near 95. Thank you so much, Alex. Vicksburg Daily News also wants to take this time to wish Tracy Scott a happy birthday, as well as a happy birthday goes to Curtis McLean. We wish you many, many more from the Vicksburg Daily News family. Of course, we're always looking to help you celebrate your birthday. We're asking our viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them and how old they'll be turning, and we'll do our best to share those as you send them in. Of course, you can stay updated anytime on our website. That's vicksburgnews.com.